Hey, good morning, Bob here. I uh, wanted to give you a video on replacing wobble rollers on your trailer and include the stuff that everybody else leaves out that you would like to know. Um, and the first tip I'm gonna give you is start with the front, no matter how many you have, whether it's four, eight, 16, 32, whatever. Um, start with the front because there may be hardware on the front that you're replacing that you can use on the back. Specifically, these, uh, these big washers. Now this one's not in bad shape, but some of them were horrible um, that are on the back. Your, your kit does not include two of these, and there are two on each roller. You can see there's one on the back, and there's one on the front. There's a, also one of those wobble uh, clip things there. So that stays on the trailer. Well, the ones at the rear of the boat are highly rusted. So what I'm doing is I'm replacing those inside ones with the ones from the front because they were in great shape. The clips were in good shape and the, uh, the washer was in good shape. So we'll, we'll start it with that. The second thing is um, getting these uh, rings off. And I'm gonna try to video this and do this at the same time. It's not hard. It's just you, gotta, you get a uh, screwdriver up under there and bend it up and it'll come right on out. Um, and you can do that. Putting it, the, the next thing that they left out and I don't have to do a lot to show you that, but hang on. So this is the clip that was uh, common before, and some of the kits still have these. This is the new clip. It's a, a W shape, as you can see. And uh, that was the first, I didn't think I could close them or I needed a special tool. I realized you just had to get the pliers on those corners and just get down on it. You need to definitely use an adjustable wrench. And it, they close. You just got to push on them good and they, they fold on in. So if you get stopped by that, also uh, just get on them and, and squeeze hard. They'll catch them on the ends and they will pinch down. So like I said, you just get the screw, the, your screwdriver under there. Pry that up. That'll come right on off. There's the first washer. Here's your old roller coming off. And you can see this is the washer on the back and the other clip. You can see how badly rusted that clip is. So I'm gonna pull that off and use one of the uh, one of the better ones that I had from the front of the boat. You can also see that that washer. It's it's not bad, but the ones from the front were in much better shape. <clears throat> so I'll put one of those on there. Uh, they're still all shiny silver. Uh, <clears throat> let me show you what I got here. Then you'll put your roller on. Now the rollers come with a two size bushings. Um, they got a great big thick one. This trailer takes the thinner one, so they provide that to you. It's right here. Put that thinner one on for a one inch or one and an eighth inch, I think it is. Shaft. Put your roller on. Put your new, uh, you'll put your new washer on and then you'll uh, put that hog clip in. I'm gonna go ahead and fix that one on the back real quick replace those. Pry that off. So I put a better clip on the back. This is one of the washers from the front. See, it still looks nice and galvanized looking. You'll put your the, uh, the thinner bushing on, like we said. Put your wheel on that. Your roller. Your wobble roller. And, uh, washer. That's what this works for me. Uh, using that uh, adjustable wrench, I uh, get them near the end because you got to go inside and you don't have enough room to get up tight, so you have to go to the edge. Again, catch it on the, catch it on the, that, those top corners and get them lined up. Now I put it, I find it easier to turn it upside down, put the bottom one in first and then uh, pinch it close. Let me see if I get, I'll do all this with, I have hard enough time doing it with two hands. Get that bottom one in. Get that bottom one in, and then just like I said, you, like you saw, I had it. I put the bottom hole in first, slide it up, and then I can watch that top one drop down. I'm gonna cinch this a little tighter here in a second. But yeah, pull it up with you, while you got it in your pliers. Put the bottom one in first, raise up on it, then you can pinch down and watch that top uh, peg go in the hole. I use two tools primarily, the adjustable wrench, and good old fathead screwdriver and that did i could have done a whole thing with just those two again save those uh, good parts from the, the front you want these rings you want those uh clips that go in because the back is liable to be roached hey thought i'd just share this with you guys the stuff they don't tell you that you need to know